Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine post Thanksgiving report here at the Folsom Tackle Show in Atlantic City this week. It's a place where all the tackle shops come to make all of their purchases in one location. Manufacturers, dealer reps, all the top brands that you know and love, uh, they're all here because they're buying tackle. And I figured this would be a great place for me to show up to find out a little bit of the bite from some of these people that don't usually talk about it. One of them, my friend Jerry Gomber from Bimini Bay Outfitters, he said he was in a surf at Sandy Hook this past weekend, Saturday, had a couple of dozen fish. Now the one thing that Jerry was telling me is that when he started fishing like I was on Saturday, it was glass, nothing was happening. That little southeast came up and started finding that the fish were hitting on those sand eels. Of course he found that out by throwing some of those tsunami sand eel imitations. That's the one thing we're finding out a lot about talking to everybody. I say post Thanksgiving, it's all about leftovers and scraps, right? Sadly, that's kind of what happens after the big feast. Now, after the big feast over the weekend and hits and misses in the surf, doing our reports for the Fisherman Magazine this week, on Monday morning found out about a pretty decent bite at Island Beach State Park. Figures, that's where it's been all the time, right? You can't keep these things in stock. The green-tailed Avas. The metals have been working the best because of those sand eels that are in the wash. So if you're going to look for stripers in the wash, you're going to have to put some time in. Uh, they could be in Monmouth County, they could be in uh, Northern Ocean County, Southern Ocean County. You're dealing around that beach replenishment, but the green avas, uh, like I said, those sand eel imitations, and of course, make sure you put a teaser on there as well. The, the bite that we found out about at Island Beach on Monday, it was all about the teasers as well. We are finding some fish popping up along the beach from Sandy Hook to Long Branch, uh, Spring Lake, Ortley to Island Beach, here and there, uh, south to Ocean City and Sea Isle as well. And along some of those stretches of Wildwood and Cape May, of course, uh, we are getting periodic bites. But I'm not finding much about the sand eels and talking to people down in Atlantic and Cape May County. It's more of a bait bite. Most of the folks that are doing anything are slinging bunker chunks or pieces of clam. In fact, uh, the LBI Surf Fishing Classic, just north of here, uh, we're, in, we're in Atlantic City, like I mentioned, but along that stretch of Long Beach Island, the Long Beach Island Surf Fishing Classic is entering the 11th hour now. The ninth week of the tournament is coming uh, up pretty quickly. Jimmy Betts had a 19.22 pounder earlier this week. He was fishing at North Beach, and again, using bunker chunks. Find out there's 685 anglers registered in that tournament this year, and I'll tell you, even if you're not gonna hit Chris Messino's 43 pounder that's at the top of the board, there's still plenty of prizes that are gone on a daily and weekly basis, so you still have an opportunity to win there. And again, if you think back 2011, that's when we had that epic sand eel bite in the surf in December. It's not December yet, it will be this weekend, so hopefully we'll crank into that sand eel bite. Now out front, we're getting scattered fish and fishing reports all along the beach. Most of it big fish. If you're looking for big fish, they're on Mojo's and they're south of here. The folks in Delaware, Lower Cape May County and off the Delaware beaches are finally getting into some of those big fish. That wave one that we had come through the northern stretch of New Jersey uh, a month ago, uh, we got some good reports. Guys throw, uh, dragging Mojo's over at the eights. Mojo's and spoons from the Shrewsbury Rocks to the Red Tower from Wreck Inlet down the line through Sea Isle Lump, the fish are scattered, but they're there. In fact, I stopped over to see Andy and, uh, in Brigantine, a riptide bait and tackle earlier this week. He said Mike Skelly uh, was fishing on tying knot charters with Captain Tyler. They mojoed off of Brigantine, yes, inside the line, just two miles off the hotel. So the fish are there, uh, you just have to work at them. All right, there's a lot of traveling around, and also make sure that network, keep, keep dialed in, right? If you're on a bite and nobody's around, call a couple of friends in because that's going to pay off in spades later on down the road. Sand Eel Presence has trollers now also, not just the Mojos and the Majas, but they're also looking for those tubes, right? Those umbrella rigs because the umbrella rigs are working wherever you get those sand eels. And also, don't forget, if you're marking bait, if you're out there trolling, but you mark a pot of bait, bring some of those uh, those jigs. Try jigging under the, the right around the bait because those stripers are swimming in there as well. Big black sea bass, best action on those humpbacks is deep. We're talking 40, 45, 50 to 60 mile wrecks. Party boats, they will give you the best opportunity to get out there. So if you want to jump on one of the party boats, get it now. 
that black sea bass season will end in New Jersey and all along the coast at the end of December. Blackfish surprisingly good along most Jersey Shore inlet rocks still this time of year. Uh, good fish not too far out too. Sean Riley nearby at Waterfront Marine in Summers Point, he suggested 50 to 70 feet of water off the coast. Did speak to Alex at the real seat the other day. He said the spin gear, crab jigs for tog, quite effective on those snags during this part of the season. So before those tog move offshore, you're inshore a little bit closer, it's a great time to try out that spin tackle and get into those tog jigs. So the tip is scale down for short surf stripers, trolling inside the line, majas, mojos, and of course now maybe think about those umbrella rigs, black sea bass, you got them through December, a few jumbo porgies are still in that mix if you're on those offshore wrecks. And of course, tog will be uh, taking us up until and through the new year. Keegan Rothman of Northfield, another monster for that young boy there. A lot of cool stuff coming your way. We find out about it at these shows. Um, tackle shops making purchases for the season, but you can also find out about some great gift ideas. The December edition of the Fisherman Magazine, it's in newsstands. You subscribers have a copy. Make sure you dog ear those pages. Leave them around. The Holiday Gift Guide is a great very popular uh, tradition for the Fisherman Magazine this time of year. Also, in the next couple of weeks, I want you to make sure to tune in to those email news alerts. They're coming out on Tuesdays now, but one of these upcoming weeks before the Christmas break, we're going to have some really cool gift ideas from this show. I hope you will enjoy that. Catch them up this weekend. We'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com.